Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn that how to create a partition using FTS utility in Linux. So we'll start with it. So first we have to check how many partitions are there in our system. We can check it by using the FTS L command, which is used to display the partitions. So you can see that dev sda1 to dev sda8, there are total eight partitions in our system. How come I come to know that there are eight partitions? This can be known that as every partition is associated with a driver known as SG1. So as there are SG8 drivers present in this command, so as an output of this command, so we can predict that there are eight partitions in our system. Now to create a partition, we will use the following command that is fdisk slash tape slash sga we will enter into the partition creation now we can use the M option to display the menu which can be used for creating a partition so for creating a new partition to add a new partition we have to use the N option that is N this will display the first cylinder which is used for creating the partition we have to press a blank enter and in the next we have to mention the size of the partition that will be 100 M this uh, says that we are going to create an 100 MB partition in our system and then we have to press an enter now we can again press the menu command that is the M option we can use for the menu so let us check whether the partition has been created with the print partition table so we will enter the P option and yes the partition has been created as previously there were 8 partitions and now there are 9 partitions as you can see Dave SG9 is the newly created partition of size 100 M so now if we want to update the partition that we have created so we have to use the option W that is used to write to the disk and exit so we will press W it is writing it's calling and writing so we have got a warning over here and the warning says that uh, the it has been failed the partition table failed with an error 16 so what has happened the kernel still uses the old table okay so if you want to update the new recreated partition in the kernel table then there is a command called part probe s dev slash sga so this command just updated the newly created partition in the kernel table so as we can see there is one more partition added in the kernel table and it's the partition number 9 in the kernel table now before mounting a mount point to the partition we have to format the partition so we can use various uh, file system for formatting the partition so let us use file system extension 3 for formatting the partition so the command is mkfs dot ex exg3 Dave SGA 9 as the newly created partition was 9 so mkfs is the command with the file system extension 3 we are going to format the newly created partition that is Dave SGA 9 so the formatting has been done so we will use the command fdisk hyphen l to list the partitions so we can see again that the partition that we have created newly has been updated in the partition table and also it has been formatted to create a mount point to assist the partition we have we need a mount point so to create a mount point we can create a directory firstly with the command mktir and space the mount point name over here in this example I am using slash data as my mount point so I will write over here a slash data and press an enter the directory has been created then the next command which is used to mount the created partition that is dave 
slash nine to our created mount point that is the directory which we have created the slash data so as you can see that uh, our partition has been mounted to the mount point slash data to check it we can use the df hyphen h slash data command okay over here you can see that the partition has been created size 99 m uh, its 99 mb has been used uh, its 99 uh, the size is 99 mb and uses 5.6 mb available is 89 mb so 6% has been used and mounted on slash data so we have done by creating a partition to the mount point slash data so thank you hope you have enjoyed watching the video